After two years of complaining from manga readers, I have finally gotten to experience the ending of Attack on Titan for the first time. And I have to say, I have no idea what you were complaining about. Now to be fair, the anime did actually make some changes and additions that does improve the ending, but it's still the same ending, just a more realized version of it. I've seen people do a complete 180 after the anime came out and now they all of a sudden like it, and I truly do not understand how that's possible. The music alone cannot have that much of an impact because it does not have any actual effect on the story itself. So maybe those people were not as much of a fan of manga as they thought they were because this doesn't make any sense but i have to say i really liked the ending i thought it was amazing although there was one thing that i thought kind of ruined it a little bit okay maybe not ruined but we'll get into it i think one of the biggest things people take issue with is aaron for me i always figured aaron had to have some sort of plan or trick up his sleeve that he didn't reveal to the others his sudden change in personality wouldn't make any sense otherwise and there were plenty of moments that foreshadowed this but i never could have figured out that his plan ended up being what it was i thought his plan would be something along the lines of after he killed everybody on the planet aside from the people on paradise he would somehow resurrect everyone and create an actual paradise where there was peace and this is why i'm not a writer because what we got instead was so much better life is not a fairy tale and true and eternal peace might be unattainable because human nature cannot be changed and history will repeat itself this is so perfect because it makes aaron's reveal so tragic the fact that aaron had to go through all of this pain push his friends away kill his own mom and kill 80% of the population. He even tells Armin that all of this is making him go crazy just to reach a resolution that isn't even what he wishes for the most is really sad. What he wishes for the most is of course peace and being able to live happily with his friends. He just really wants to be with Mikasa and everyone else but knows that that isn't possible. He didn't want to kill Sasha and Hanj but knew that that was the only way and the reason for this is that he can see through all the possible timelines and knows that Marley will attack Paris paradise and that it cannot be avoided unless he kills them first and that's exactly what he does securing freedom for his friends removing all the titans from the world and creating an opportunity for peace for those who are still alive on paper this ending is great although i do think it struggles with its delivery a little bit it doesn't make it terrible like i said i really like the ending but it's just a shame that it can't quite hammer home what is a really thought out ending like it wants to and that's mostly because of one thing the story doesn't allow itself room to breathe mainly during Eren and Armin's conversation. Certain things and concepts are not explained properly, like how Eren's time powers actually work. They are explained, but not really that well, and there is not a lot of time dedicated to doing so. And I understand that this time stuff is really complicated to actually wrap your head around, and I can acknowledge that that is part of the reason, but a large part I think is still due to it not being explained enough. Because of that, Eren's reveal doesn't hit as deep as it's supposed to. When Eren and Armin's conversation ends, I'm still like, wait, go back. I haven't even processed all of the stuff that you've just told me. And I'm also not sure if I've even understood everything properly. The conversation does last for quite a large amount of time, but that's just because there's so much to say and reveal back to back to back to back. It's just too much at the same time but at the same time, not enough. The end really hits you with like a million different things at once. So when we see all the emotional things happen with Levi, Connie, and Jean afterwards, I'm still trying to process what happened like five to 10 minutes ago. But those things still hit me very deep. Levi getting a bittersweet ending, being the sole survivor of the scouts, showing them what they gave their hearts for. You start to think if it was even worth it with all of this destruction, and if the scouts would even be happy with the outcome. Seeing Levi cry really really puts into perspective how shitty the situation is. A tough character like him crying over his lost comrades is really heartbreaking. And might I just say, my boy, Levi, was fucking shit up this entire special, bro. One of the few wishes I had going into this ending was that I wanted to see Levi go Beyblade mode just one last time. And oh my god, he did it on like three separate occasions. One of those being when he kills Seek. I'm not gonna lie, when that happened, I laughed. I laughed because I just did not understand why the hell he did that when they were on the same side. It was only later when I realized that killing Seek was the way to stop the rumbling. But in the moment, I was left confused. And to me, Levi seemed like a crazy person who still had a hate boner for Seek. And I am partially to blame for my own confusion because maybe I had slightly forgot that Seek was needed to keep the rumbling going. But I still think there could have been more explanation or 
for a reminder because with that this is actually a really cool moment. Zeke's final moments alive are really good for his character and Levi doesn't even really get any satisfaction from killing him. And I can't talk about the ending without mentioning Mikasa. She sort of took the main role in this finale and did so well. Seeing her kill Eren is something I wasn't sure she could do and that's why it's such a good moment. She finally overcame her biggest weakness but still shows that she loves Eren. Her character arc concludes and so does everyone else's. I appreciated a lot how every character got their moment to shine without it feeling forced or unnatural. John has one of the best animated sequences as he blows up Eren's head. John, the guy who wanted to enlist in the military police is now saving the world and he fights for the people she cares for. Every character is handled with more care and respect than I could have ever hoped for. Paired up with the most banging soundtrack and incredible animation and art. There were genuinely times when they were fighting, particularly when Levi was like murking hella titans that I damn near fell out of my chair from excitement. This is the most fitting ending I could think of for a series like Attack on Titan and I'm so glad Isayama wrote it the way he did. Before this final episode came out, I was almost expecting to dislike the ending with all the negativity surrounding it. And that is why it is so important to make up your own opinions about media you consume after you've consumed it. And look at everything through an unbiased lens your own lens. This ending hasn't left my mind for days and I doubt it will anytime soon. So in the meantime I might want to distract myself with something else and if you want to do that make sure to check out this video right here.